Now, the number of children suffering abuse and neglect in the city of Lynchburg is on the rise. This is according to numbers released today by the Court Appointed Special Advocates, or CASA, of Central Virginia. So now students at Liberty University are helping to bring awareness to this major issue right outside their campus. WSOS 10's Rob Manch was there today. So, Rob, uh, how are students uh, catching on to this issue? What are they doing about it? Well, John, law student Elizabeth Rarick says through her studies, she and a fellow student learned that Lynchburg is much different than its surrounding counties when it comes to child abuse. The number of verified cases in the city dwarfs even the next highest county around, Bedford, by more than 200 cases in 2015 alone. Rarick says the first step to solving this growing problem is letting everyone know there is one. 664. That's the number of children in the city of Lynchburg who have been abused, neglected, exposed to drugs in 2015. Almost two children every day and 47 more than the year before. If statistics hold true, every one of us every day is coming into contact with people who are abused. Elizabeth Rarick says the pinwheels she and her peers have placed on Liberty's campus represent every one of those children. Instead of just a statistic, it's a name, it's a face, it's a child. Christy Horsley is one of the CASA advocates responsible for trying to make the best of a bad situation for hundreds of kids. She says she's seen it all. Um, these numbers reflect children who are abused or neglected. So that can encompass things like medical neglect, where children are not receiving medical care, um, dental decay that's not being addressed. Also, it can include physical abuse. Horsley says she doesn't know for sure why Lynchburg has such a problem, but she does have a guess. The city's poverty rate at almost a quarter of its population is in the bottom 15 localities in the state. I don't think poverty necessarily causes child abuse, but poverty can definitely be a stressor that contributes to it. To fight the problem, Horsley says awareness has to be coupled with action, but she says that effort should be on the part of friends, neighbors, even co-workers. I've seen cases where, again, uh, an at-risk family has a relationship with a family in their church, and the, the church family is able to kind of take them under their wing and provide financial support or diapers or, again, positive role models. Role models who look out for others in need. That's what Rarick says she hopes to accomplish through her work. The numbers are shocking, the statistics are shocking, um, but the point of bringing that to a college campus or to any, uh, any number of people that might not be aware of it, that it's happening, it's to teach them how to be aware, to know the signs to look for. Well, Rarick and her peers aren't stopping with their pinwheel garden. The students at the Liberty School of Law are hosting a seminar featuring a survivor of abuse tomorrow night and a family night on Friday. Also, if you or someone you know wants to report abuse or find services, you'll find links and a phone number on our website at WSLS.com.